I think the old pen knife's coming out. <laughs> that is modern science. Virgin land, they say. Tip it out, tip it out, tip it out. So that's just moving the channels that I moved the other day. They're uh, ready for the cow turn out because we don't want the channels in the way when we go out, do we? Don't want to hurt ourselves and we want easy access to water troughs. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday videos. In today's video, what are we doing? We're going to do something completely new. It's completely different to me. We tried to plan this um, a while ago, actually. Like, we've been planning this since February. It's been so wet, so grim. We haven't been able to do it. As everyone knows, fertilizer prices has been absolutely crazy. And it's a bit like power. We put the solar on so we didn't have to pay a solar bill. And fertilizer prices have been mad. Last year, they went up 700 pounds a ton. This year, it has backed down quite a lot. But it's not as cheap as it was. It's back down even more in the last month. We're trying to find a way that we can improve our organic matter into the soil, the bacteria in our soil, and a way, if I'm honest, to spend less on fertilizer and let the grass grow naturally as best as we can. We looked at a couple of products, and this is one that we found. Super Soil. This is a organic product so it's all about increasing the microbes in the soil kilo bag will do 10 acres contacted the team at super soil and he said why don't you give it a go tom see if it works so we have three bags of this we have enough to do 30 acres speaking to the team at super soil they said this stuff works best on land that has already had muck on it so either slurry or box muck anything of the like and us being a dairy farm of 250 acres every single acre gets some muck on so it should work absolutely fantastically and that's the word should and there's no better place for it to how to have a test on than here i think because we like to do stuff and obviously i document everything so it'll be interesting this works as you dilute it to one pouch to a thousand liters the problem is that you can hear it i'm talking about liters so the issue is you have to spray it on that's not a problem i've got a mate who's got to spray it mr ollie blogs i rung him about three or four weeks ago and um He's still not here yet. Gotta love him. I spoke to him this morning. My dad then had a look on eBay and look at secondhand sprays. It's something that I have never done before. But dad, we used to grow loads of our own spuds. So he decided, right, we're gonna go for it. So I spoke to a company called J Bourne Tractors and they did everything we wanted. We have bought a brand spanking new sprayer. It's a Jarmet sprayer. It's a thousand liters with a 12 meter boom. All manual. We'll get into it. Let's get it off first. I'll show you how it works. So that was a little bit of an ordeal. And this is kind of like a basic sprayer. It was from J Board Tractors. They do the garment sprayer. Dad just looked on eBay and saw these sprayers and thought, that's a good value. So they're about $18.95 and then plus delivery. So I didn't think that was bad at all, really. Comes with everything. But like I say, it's manual. So you've got to get into the field, manually open it up, and then manually turn it on and off. You can get an electric spool to go on it. It was extra 500 quid. And we just thought, keep it proper basic. We have a couple of docks that are in the field. Dad has granddad rights. I don't have anything like that. So um, he'll be doing all the spraying. Back to all, and then he'll boost. Only blogs couldn't come. So we've done it ourselves, haven't we, Dad? We've done it ourselves. We've done it ourselves. We've committed ourselves to more work. <laughs> and uh, it's a simple machine. It's just basically a pump and 12 meters spray. Yeah, like Ollie's getting so busy. I rung him this morning, he's got 1,200 acres to do before the weather comes on Friday. <laughs> Today's Wednesday, so there's no chance of him getting that done. Yeah. The wind's up, so he's gonna struggle. So he's like, I can't get it on you. I can't get it on for you. We wanted to do it about two weeks ago. So we've decided to go for ourselves. Like I say, this was really cost efficient. It was just under 2,000 pounds for the whole unit. So I don't think that's bad at all. 10, 10 acres now you can do, because it's 1,000. Yeah, 10 acres alone. And load, sorry. 10 acres alone. 1,000 liters, and it's 12 meters. Dad actually has granddad rights if we were spraying an actual chemical, but that's super soils. You don't need a spraying license with it, which is great. But I think I'm going to do my uh, spraying course as a three day course because we do have this is going to be useful for other things as well, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, absolutely. We've always got docks, we've always got a few bit of chickweed, and with such small areas to get the contractor in, the cost it mounts up. Whereas if you've got a bit of chemical and stuff on us, the cows have come off, we'll just do that five acre field. Yeah, yeah. cows have come off or that patch, and you can stop and start. When you put a contractor on, he does the whole field. Fair enough. It doesn't go up as, as directed, but you know yourself in certain areas where there's it doesn't need the same amount of treatment. So yeah. we could, it's almost like 
glorified spot treatment good to be able to do it when the rest time timing's important yeah. for spraying timing 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 wind's picked up now and if you're spraying some some chemicals the last thing you want to do is blow on someone else's crop no. or blow on to something that shouldn't be destroyed so so the reason why we did get this and we're going to get a boost of getting it we are looking at spending less on fertilizers like i was talking about before fertilizer cost has gone absolutely crazy it has backed off a lot which has excited us a little bit hasn't it uh, yeah yeah well, <laughs> so me and dad are always looking for ways like improve costs they ain't spending money on something that would decrease the value of or decrease our need for fertilizers haven't we yeah now we've been in touch with these this company super soil you think there's enough to do 10 acres in that bag you think what it is it's only like your silo inoculants and your slurry bugs and everything else i would say it's technology moving forward it's the advancement of science and agriculture is all about science it's all about balance and the science of the cattle the science of silage making the science of crops and the science of sprays for chemicals it's all there but this is a science in the soil we're great believers of improving our soils because the soils feed the plant inorganic fertilizer feeds the plant it doesn't feed the soil it makes a crop grow it, it makes the crop grow forces a crop to grow which is great we've already got a lot of growth in our ground because we have a lot of humus a lot of organic matter and the bacteria that's in there these are supposed to increase the microbes the microbacteria in the soil that generates nutrition for the plant and what does it do the big thing we want it to do it's nitrogen absorbing it's absorbing nitrogen out the air into the ground then the plant can use the nitrogen now what on earth these bugs are what on earth they're called i've no idea <laughs> it's you know all i want to do is drive it i don't want to know how it works fully but i do understand i understand some of the science behind it when the air is over 70 percent nitrogen so there's plenty of it up there so if we can draw that into the ground with this bacteria that lays it in the soil then the, the plants and the roots can absorb it hence we get the growth and this is what it's all about i don't know what this is, uh, bag costs us it's about 300 pounds it is just like uh, inoculant silo inoculant you think what's this little bag of powder yeah, what's yeah, it yeah. worth is it something i should like sell on the your, street your additives your yeah. additives oh. and then your slurry bugs you believe i'm not a big fan of slurry bugs additives no. yes slurry bugs, bugs is not one for me personally however this is equivalent to a slurry bug yeah, yeah. it can be done the same way that's it mad could, for them it could enhance your slurry by making the bugs available to break down your organic matter in the soil to make nitrogen available for the plant and I always say there's more weight of livestock under the surface of the ground than above it these are hopefully are going to drag the nitrogen out of the air out of the atmosphere put it into the ground and make the plant grow I know I've repeated myself but that's what it is so we're going to test it on three different areas of the farm what kind of fields have you got because obviously we have rolled a little bit as well yeah so. we'll, we'll test it what we say are, are better fields the ones that we know will produce a lot of grass the ones that have had slurry at the right times over the winter they've had a top up of nitrogen so they're growing strong now they really are growing strong a from the inorganic fertilizer which is the top up and the organic fertilizer we put on over the winter months and in the spring probably and works out it really does work so it's growing our grass is green when you get your drone up you'll see we're green and we've only put 50 units of inorganic fertilizer on that's not a lot compared to what we've done in the past so that's one field then we're going on a couple of our pastures that we've had control of for a while with renting they've not been in our possession all, all our working lives but they're coming back and we're getting more and more manures onto them the build up of the whole thing the organic matter and the bacteria this is where this stuff will really this, strive this should really kick it on and see a result then with one area of the farm that's been totally reinstated over at, on Tom's yeah. and I've asked for permission to go on there and I've said I'm going to do it and I'm going to have a run on there that's land that's based it's a mix and match everyone else is mixed of topsoils and other soils and it's nothing in it at all it yeah. absolutely so it needs, it, it needs needs something and I'm also saying it needs something to kick start these microbes and bacteria to get them going so they can increase if we feed it with a bit of slurry put some livestock on maybe some sheep and some cattle so they graze it so it's naturally going to start generating more and more bacteria but this is what's needed to kick start it now this is where i think it's going to have its most use and show where it really starts where it's going to build up those microbes very very quickly we're going to go across the middle of the field, right the middle of the the field. Right the middle of the field. Like we always slurry one way generally on certain fields 
we always till so or mow one direction the longest we're going to go spray across that normal runnings yeah. to see if there's a difference from top end of the field to the middle where we're going to put the spray on to the bottom end of the field and see if there's a difference so every field will be done the same so if anything there should be a big stripe in every field maybe after silo maybe after grazing yeah, yeah. the cattle may come and graze better on that stripe apparently that's it as well cows will graze better because everyone knows if you spread too much fertilizer cows it's a bit tart for the it's cows acid. Well. yeah yeah it's acid and the other thing with this as well it gets better all the time apparently as well so after three years i was speaking to someone the other day because i just wanted to have a chat about how it works because if we can just cut our fertilizer cost down it'd be amazing he says he was putting i think 600 kilos per hectare or per acre on it on his land whatever it was oh, of fertilizer, fertilizer yeah. but now he's like down to like i think i think it was like 100 100 kilos or even yeah. down to 80 60 kilos yeah, yeah. so if that works it would be amazing but if we can work this with our fertilizers and our slurry fingers crossed but the proof will be in the pudding we're going to put five acres on each field across the middle and have no other different treatments and see what the results are obviously we won't see the results straight away grass is growing very hard looking bloody good actually out yeah. there but we did want it on about two or three yeah. weeks ago like i say there was a window of a weekend we yes. could have got it on but ollie was just mad busy, mad busy. it was just getting contractors and this will stop us from relying on yes. contractors and that's a good thing because it's timing is important with anything we used to but, spray for the spuds all the time oh, spuds and we used to spray a bit of maize and spray all the chickweed and docks just go out and do a field we used to have our own sprayer but, but you know well, time's moved on and so contracts are easy thing of being with this is we won't see the results straight away it's during the season we want to see the results yeah. and also at the end of next season and probably the next year it's not what weather reliant it's not crop reliant it's yeah. just a question of getting it onto the soil not necessarily the crop getting it to wash into the soil so we need to spray it while it's dry now onto the crop let it rain hopefully it'll rain it wash down into the soils then the microbes can start working but the best thing about our our farm is with so much in or, uh, organic matter and so much slurry manures goes back on the grounds they've got something to a feed on yeah, yeah. They'll they'll are, they'll it's like a kabai, kabai attack we put yeah. on the bed it's the same yeah. stuff in it that it's, work i don't know how that works but that does work does. i will hands down say that works just think of your carbon footprint and how it would reduce it by saying we're not putting as much inorganic fertilizers on we're not using as much fuel to do it one spray start the season does half your fertilizing yeah. it's a big save you could sell some carbon credits maybe carbon credits Who well knows? <laughs> hey that's another conversation i'm gonna leave him here dad's actually busy this afternoon so he's gonna go off so me and luke are gonna go and get luke this and luke and i are gonna get this on we're gonna put some water through it make sure it's ready we want to get it sprayed on tomorrow morning so it's done because friday it's gonna rain filled up for first load tonight then we've only have to get two more loads because it's going to do it out of the volume wash because that holds about 1500 so we should have enough it's not a it's not a pesticide it's not a, a herbicide. herbicide it's just a it's so a, i could technically spray it you could. but dad knows what he's doing so leave well, him to it not only that I, I want to pick my fields so we can watch them and we'll watch them so whenever we're going past if we start seeing an increase or decrease it, it's, it's, it's an area where it'll stand out yeah. right guys leave us to it me and luke are gonna smash this after lunch and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Look at that! How smart does that look? A thousand litres. The levers are quite easy to grab, are they? It's and I think that wants to go. Other side of the top thing. Other side to keep you in the middle, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Ish. Bit of a reach. A lot, lot. Save me 500 quid for reach. Reach? Yeah, it's not worth 500 quid. It's not worth that. 500 quid for an extra foot. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You can extend the bracket and die. Yeah. Well, That's not a bad shout. I'll well, take well, it off. shout from Luke. You could, you could extend that, for you? Could you slack in all these pies. 18.95. To spray a product on that we want to do and like I say, I need to get my tickets, but... Right, I'll fill her full of water, get her ready for tomorrow, I think. And we are off. We need spray in the background. It's quite big. <laughs> don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. That's what she said. Legend. Uh, I'm sorry. It's so clean. Can't wait to have my machine area where this all started. So I'm going to crush all that stone and that green like, machine area. Machinery area, or fill it up because me and dad want to get it done tomorrow morning, which is Thursday. A before the wind comes, B before the rain properly comes, and C 
I wanted to do this two, three weeks ago. So we go, we're on the floor. Do that. Oh, steps. Wee. Moving up in the world. Open. Ah, that makes sense. So they said that the instruction pamphlet on page 33 describes it where it all is. And uh, we're here. Got some hats from track people. I think this is what we want in life. Yes, it is. The instruction manual. Dialed. I'll read that in a minute. What we need is water. We just start milking it because we want to spray tomorrow. Um, our water pressure is not very good. So when the cows start drinking all the water dropped in there after they've been milked, so obviously milking takes a lot of moisture out of them. Our water pressure is rubbish. So I want to fill it up tonight. So we've got a thousand liters and then we're going to fill it twice tomorrow instead of three times because uh, the that's just on two IBC. So it should be fine. It's filling up pretty fast. Probably going five minutes and we are, oh here. Not there. Probably about 600 litres. It's not too bad, is it? Mm -hmm. 100 litres a minute, 10 minutes filled up. I, don't, I reckon it's even quicker than that. Mm Have a look, see what she looks like. I'd like to give it a little bit of a test run. It's quite big, though, isn't it? 12 meters. Quite firm as well. Good. Let's see how she works, eh? And my heart's like, ooh, how'd you like to spin around with me? Watch this, watch this. I've mastered it. Yo, that tells me that's how it should open. I think the old pen knife is coming out. <laughs> so we are back and it is a glorious Thursday morning. I've worked hellish hard just to get everything done this morning. And it is eight o'clock. The wind has died down completely, which is amazing. The ginger guy's back from his golf yesterday and we are having our first go. We've had a little bit of a play with this again this morning just to make sure dad knows what he's doing. Warm water is the key to happiness with all these things, isn't it, father? Yeah, it's a little bit hot. He just wants to be body temperature take, or less. Just take, the, just, just take the chill, chill off it. That is the stuff. I think we had to see it just, just. I was expecting it to be black for some reason. Uh, black. Now Ooh. that is hopefully full of microbes, bacteria and um, nitrogen fixing modules, nodules, whatever it was in the plant. That is modern science. Modern that science. Is science. That is I'm it. excited for this. One part to a thousand of kilos. So that's one kilo you know, to a thousand, thousand liters. liters. You've got a thousand right. liter tank. Enough to cover a 10 acres pot yeah. at the right rate. And that puts on so many millions of microbes. One to the three zeros four times. I think it's yeah. one trillion. No chemicals ever. No. Pure How many thousands water. of tons of silage being treated now with one form or another? Rather than you just put no additive on now, would you? you no, know, it's an insurance. Yeah, yeah. But this is better than insurance. Right, if, if this works, chuck it in. This Come right, on. Right, we're going. We're moving. Time's money. Oh. No. Not expecting that. Black gold. It's a shotgun cartridge gold, huh? How's it feel? Thin? Oh, no, it feels quite thick actually. It's actually thickening up like a suit, like a gravy. Yeah, yeah. Like a gravy. I was not expecting that. Right. Chuck in the tank, mix it, and get going. Mix it for two minutes. Working across the field, I don't have the same sort of sense of how much it is, and I'm not going to switch it off because I'm just going to keep looping all the way around the corners. It won't matter. Right. You know, there's no point switching off. We're trying it in the middle of the field and see what does. I'm not, you know, I'm not going around up to the headlands or anything like that. Just going to loop, go back up yourself, back up yourself. Right, I'll leave you to it.
My dad does the spraying. I need to do one more side of the cows, so I'm gonna leave him to it. I've got the drone just working there. I'm just gonna make another one because it might be like additive, but it might just be better. Just settling in the tub a little bit. I'm surprised at the colour of it for some reason, and I'm doing it inside, so less wind. You can see it's not a windy day today, and then sometimes it's a little bit windy. That's why we load the booms as well. But as the day gets on, it's gonna get windier and windier. It's crazy, isn't it? What are you doing? Just taking a bit of pressure off. To pull the boom out, it's just very, very tight. It's an old man struggling, so and it's all you doing is clamping together. It just starts easier now. Oh, that doesn't come undone. So you just, it's just clamping, you understand me, it's working on fiction. Oh. First load? Good. Good. Like the sprayer. Easy enough. Easy enough. Come on. You got a routine of that, you know, walk yeah. that way. You've probably seen me, they walk back that way. You hope yeah. you're about to, and then it's balanced. Now they pull all the wings out, and if it's hydraulic, so it starts doing this. No walking out. 1200 revs on eco, plenty of pressure. Yeah. It's just out of the green. You can knock a valve off, it's still the pressure's not too hard. Yeah, it's really, really good. Jump leads, well, they... Oh, yeah, because the loader track didn't start yesterday, and the other jump leads just not good. We'll have to get a new pair off, cramp. Yeah, got them off your garage. Pain in the ass. Front of it, I couldn't even bump start because yeah. the front was towards yeah. the wall. So, first load of using your stuff. It looks good. Can't really tell, can you, spray it? You can see why we're trying to go as early as we can. Yeah. Sometimes it does get a bit drifty, and that's why we've dropped the um, boom down as well, yeah. just so we can get it right into the plant. These two first fields have got a lot of grass on them. The next two are uh, like all right average fields, yeah. but it's the fields after that. That one's to really try it on, particularly with field where we've not put no fertilizer yet. We're yeah. not going to put any fertilizer on until later in the summer, maybe. It's not what it's not going to come in our rotation. It'll be maybe do some big bales or a bit of hayleys, whatever. It's a totally different grass. It's something we've seen it Tom over the road, and you've been to see what it does. So, what he's going to do is load up. We're just doing that net now, then it gives chance for the uh, volume wash to reload if this will take everything out of the volume wash cows are supping all the water now so we're gonna have nothing till after breakfast and then we can uh, do the third and final which is the most important but you don't really know it just comes out of the sprayer you go back nuclear fusion 100 years ago wasn't even thought about you know yeah. we moved on to inorganic fertilizers now we're going back to this product that is natural it, if it works it's a revolutionary to be honest with you. See if it's we the proof in the pudding, we'll find out. And the best is probably after you set, after your first cut, yeah. you'll see it greens up faster. That's what so we're looking for. We'll see it. That's why I've done it totally opposite where we normally fertilise, mow, and everything. So yeah. the mower I've done it in an odd way. I've done it an odd way deliberately to see if it will stand out. <laughs> that way you see a difference. Rather with mowing, chopping, you put three rows together or more when the, the cover of the forager comes if there's any difference you'll see the forager have to slow down without actually physically seeing it because you're putting so much more together again first cut we might not do these are strong grass on because it, tomorrow's going to rain so it'll wash okay. it into the yeah. soil but these next fields this one's again a bit like the others but the last ones that we're going to do we'll definitely see a difference won't we uh, hopefully that's what it's there for we're testing it and we're trying it and hopefully we're going to get a benefit fingers crossed and, it will save cost. When you walked into this room, you hardly knew anyone. Sea full of strangers crashing on the run. We've just had to come to the farm over the road, haven't we, Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. our water pressure is that bad. Um, that is, they've got a bigger bore and they've got water pressure. Yeah. And the IBCs have run out, haven't Yeah, they? yeah, we've done that with our supply, so... <laughs> that was definitely faster. So Dad's going to go off. He's just going to start... You're just going to start big field. So what I'm going to do is feed these guys and feed the young stock. And then he's going to do the hill field that yeah. you've gone round once with a till saw. Yeah, you? and I've not gone in the middle because it was too wet. Hopefully he'll travel with me. <laughs> Where he's had nothing, it's all virgin land they say, he's had no slurry, no rock, 
it's all lost heat bath and brought in. Some of it's good, some of it not so not so not so uh, nothing in it. There's nothing in it. Not actually more like it. I'm not gonna put that in. Oh snack for it. I'm gonna let him go, so let him do the big field. Like I said, I'm just gonna feed the cows. He's gonna go at 12 and then I've got I've gonna go at one. It's just life in it. Get these cows fed. We'll see him do that hill field and the reclaimed land. Be excited? Right, good see you too. So I was just loading the feeder and dad was actually working on this bit Yeah, and what were you trying to do? I was just trying to make a, a shape of a heart That's not too bad uh, I tried to make a shape of a heart and put an arrow through it but I've run out of spray So hopefully <laughs> if, it, if it stands out there's a heart for Tom and Pauline to look down upon They'll see Because it should be second cut, so mid of July So near their wedding really Near their wedding, it should come if we don't touch it with any fertiliser at all, let's see what happens on here. For this field, when it does come dry, it will want rolling because there's stones everywhere, there's a couple of wires. But because of its recycled re land, look at it, it's wet, you know, I've run through water. Yeah. It's solid underneath, you know, it will roll, but it is very, very wet. <laughs> the hill field, that's, that's really travelling well on it now, it's soft. But it wants to it's off with it. Yeah, with tires. the tires. And the can you see the mark where well, now we want the low the tail? Yeah, you can see it's just green around, around the, edges. the edges. Well, sure. that's one run around the edges. Uh, but I want to finish that off. That you can see, yeah, you can see at the top end. Yeah. It's just struggling for a bit of green, that field, isn't it? So those two fields that you finished with, we're stood in, which has not got a lot in it. Um, but yeah, this is perfect for what this product is for Ab these two bit, isn't it? Well, absolutely. Yeah, the hill field bare as well. I wasn't spraying any grass. You might look green, but it's very, very short. There's more grass in our garden that, than there. That whole hill field never yeah. grows very well. No, it's just it's, wet, isn't it? It's heavy, heavy ground. It's different soils. So we've had a really good test, really. Different soils, similar sort of management, but different soils. Soils, different fertilizers and on different um, uh, manures on because of the time of year this is the field I really want to see if it doesn't really change it because yeah. of you know it's yellow in place you can see the type of grass the grass is the same the treatment's been the same it's the soils underneath yeah. and if it works on this it'll work on anything feed the soil it'll feed the crop then that'll feed us right I'm gonna end on that one fingers crossed this is gonna work we'll see in six weeks three months six months 12 months we're going to put it on again i think in october someone was saying that's a really good way to put it on uh it gives the ground a little bit of life and then boost ready for the year after so we're going to try it see what happens not going full out 30 acres out of the 250 to start with uh, but i think he's a happy man with a new toy thank you very much for watching if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to youtube channel tv merch is coming out on sunday the cows are going out on saturday yes it looks like it's gonna rain it's farming. I hope they don't make a mess of that field. Oh, and I hope this works. I need to get my spraying tickets. Right, anyone got any advice on that? Let me know. See you in a bit. Bye.